Hello! Today I wanted to do a video on nipple piercings. I've already done one, so this is my part two. There were so many questions on my first nipple piercing video that I was like, okay, this has to be done. So this has basically been a long time coming. A lot of the information provided to me for this video was from Flesh Impressions. A lot of the questions that I got, I couldn't find the information online, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I was like, well, I'll go direct to a piercer. Big massive shout out to Flesh Impressions. Thank you so much for providing me with so much information and being so great about it. If you live on the Gold Coast region or in Queensland or even in Australia, I would 100% recommend Flesh Impressions as a piercing place to go to. So I'm gonna try and make this video as short as I possibly can. The main question that I got was in relation to pain. Obviously, nipple piercings are going to be painful. I think nipple piercings are supposed to be one of the most painful piercings. I'd say the pain would be about a 6 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10. It all depends on the person and your pain tolerance. Pain really isn't something that should prevent you from getting your nipples pierced. I think it's been like a year and a bit for me and I genuinely I don't even think about the pain. Definitely don't let pain stop you from getting nipple piercings. Some asked about numbing creams. It's actually illegal for piercers to put numbing creams on in Australia as flesh impressions let me know. I didn't know that. However, you can get numbing creams at chemists so you can put them on yourself but if you're going to do that talk to the piercer. A lot of piercers will be hesitant to give you nipple piercings after you put a numbing cream on just because it increases the risk of infection. Definitely let your piercer know if you do decide to go down that route. Personally, I don't think it's necessary but I know it's easier said than done because I've already got them done. Second most common question that I got was about inverted nipples because I have inverted nipples and I mentioned that in my first video. I got questions on Instagram, on messaging, in the comments section. So I had inverted nipples before I got my nipples pierced but nipple piercings completely reversed that. Um, now my nipples you would never know that they were ever inverted. Hands. What is up with my hands? Inverted nipples are really really common. You don't realize how common they are or I definitely didn't until I made that video. They are nothing to be ashamed of. I know when I first realized that my nipples weren't like everyone else's <laughs> so that sounds so lame. I was really really embarrassed and I was looking up like you know inverted nipple surgeries and things like that and um, I did come across nipple piercings but I was like 13 years old so I just like <laughs> like <laughs> near. As I grew older I started to sort of get a little less less embarrassed about it and then I started seeing awesome nipple piercing pictures and stuff on Tumblr and then I was like okay nipple piercings are happening. So it kind of went hand in hand. It definitely made a massive difference. Like I said you cannot tell that my nipples were ever inverted and I love how they look now so if you are wanting to reverse um, inverted nipples nipple piercings are a really good option. Flesh impressions let me know that they have people come to, to them specifically to correct inverted nipples so it's a common thing. It's a thing that happens so don't be embarrassed to tell your piercer, providing that your nipples are able to be coaxed out, which mine were, so there shouldn't be any issues with getting your nipples pierced. I've read a few experiences saying that upon telling their piercer that they had inverted nipples, they sort of reduced the temperature in the room and everything like that, just to make sure that the nipples would come out at the time of the piercings. If you do have any more questions on inverted nipples and nipple piercings, please feel free to give me a message or anything like that. I'm totally happy to respond. But in summary, inverted nipples that can be coaxed out, you should definitely be able to get them pierced. Let your piercer know so that they're fully aware of any precautions they may need to take. Physical activity and swimming were questions that seemed to pop up a lot in my last video that I didn't even address. You shouldn't go in any bodies of water within the first four weeks of getting your nipples pierced. And when I say bodies of water, I mean like baths, ocean, swimming pools, spas, etc, etc. Just stick to showers and stay out of any bodies of water within the first four weeks of getting your nipples pierced. Exercise. So you can exercise straight away after getting your nipples pierced. Just make sure that your exercising doesn't involve bumping your nipples. And after you do your exercise, make sure that you have a thorough shower and make sure to cleanse your nipples pretty well. The pros and cons of getting a bar or a ring was something that also came up in my comments last time. I went for a bar because I like how it looks a little bit better, but in general it is better for twisting and moving which is really really bad for nipple piercings. However, if you're really confident that you can take care of them well, obviously go, go for it and get a ring. The gauge of nipple piercings should be like around the 12 to 14 mark. Any small one that is likely to reject it. What should you expect after getting your nipple piercings? You could possibly get some bleeding within in the first few weeks. I know I did in the first week my nipples started bleeding and I was like oh my god what is happening. Minor bleeding is something that happens so don't worry about it too much unless it's excessive or unless it goes on for a while and in that case definitely go back and see your piercer. You should also expect a yellowish like crusty sort of fluid around your piercings um, which is sort of like any piercing really. This is something that sort of decreases over time but I have read a lot of experiences saying that it is sort of a forever thing it doesn't really stop which I know is true for me sometimes I get it but definitely in minimal amounts. Obviously your piercings are going to hurt for a little while 
but so you're not going to be in like a crazy amount of pain. Mainly like tenderness rather than pain I would say. Caring for your nipple piercing. So the best thing to do is to clean your nipples two times a day. Don't over clean because that can be bad for your nipple piercing. And what you need to do is get a quarter teaspoon of pure sea salt. So it has to be non-iodized sea salt. It can't be table salt, anything like that. Don't do that. And then you need to mix that with 200 ml of warm water and sort of dissolve them together. Make sure that you stick to those ratios because too much sea salt can be bad for your nipple piercings and not enough can be not enough to clean your nipple piercings. Put the mix that you've made in like a little shot glass or a medicine cup or something like that and then you can just pretty much use it as like a vacuum on your nipples and you do that for around 5 to 10 minutes. Another thing that you can do is use an antibacterial soap like while you're in the shower and that's good to get rid of like the crusty gross stuff. Make sure when you pick a soap that it's not too strong, it doesn't have any scents, doesn't have any Dettol or anything like that. A lot of people ask about whether they should wear a bra after getting their nipple piercings. I found that it was better to have a bra on when I got my nipple piercings done so I left the store thinking oh, I'll leave my bra off for a While I was driving home I had my seatbelt on and it was like couching and it was just horrible and I found that the bra was good because it sort of like compressed the piercings. A lot of people recommend like a tight comfortable cotton t-shirt or like a sports bra or something like that if you don't find that a bra works out for you. Try not to sleep on your piercings within the first eight weeks of getting them. This is for, goes for any piercing. It was something that I read on Flesh Impressions aftercare sheet which I will put in the description down below. If you find that you are getting any sort of infection or just something doesn't look right, you're getting weird smelled or anything like that, go back to your piercer and talk to them about it. Don't try and take care of it yourself. Healing. So healing can take a very long time for nipple piercing piercings it's not like a normal piercing so it can be anywhere from three months to like a year to possibly even longer taking your piercings out so flesh impression suggested that you don't remove any jewelry for the first three to six months and if they're still healing probably don't remove them at all with nipple piercings if you take them out they can actually close in like a matter of seconds so Kyla from flesh impression said that her nipple piercings when she took them out it took about 30 seconds and they already started closing up so be really really careful you need to keep jewelry in them at all times you can't just take it out for a day like you would with your ear piercing. A lot of people do ask whether getting nipple piercings will make your nipples permanently hard. No it won't. So in terms of seeing them through clothing and everything, you can't see them if you're wearing a bra. If you're not wearing a bra obviously you will be able to see them through a t-shirt. Just like in my last video I will link um, a tumbler down below that has a bunch of pictures of nipple piercings. So how will your nipples look once you take your nipple piercings out? After a week they should be pretty much closed and you'll have minimal scarring. There's a big myth that nipple piercings stop you from being able to breastfeed. This freaked me out a lot when I was getting my nipples pierced. Nipple piercings do not affect breastfeeding at all. The only thing that you need to know about breastfeeding and nipple piercings is A, don't get your nipples pierced while you're pregnant, that's just kind of an obvious one, and B, don't leave your piercings in while you are breastfeeding. A few people asked whether you lose all sensitivity getting your nipples pierced. No, that's completely the opposite of what happens. It actually tends to increase in sensitivity. Reactions for everyone are different, so there obviously is a chance that it, you could lose some sensitivity, but in general I would say that sensitivity just increases. I think the pricing definitely varies. I live in Australia and I think it was around like 110 or so and that was including jewellery. Flesh Impression is the place that I went to actually have sales like all the time so it's really good. It's like they they put it on their Facebook um, which I'll link down below. So I feel like I've covered just about everything in regards to nipple piercings. I'm really hoping that I've covered all of the topics that everyone wants to know. If you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments. In general I make fashion and life videos so if that's something that you're interested in you can subscribe. If you're just here for nipple piercings that's also okay because I totally understand that. Massive massive shout out to Flesh Impressions. I will put a link to their website down below and I 100% recommend them as a piercing place. They're very professional, they know their stuff. So thank you so much for watching again and I will see you soon.